Do you suffer from anxiety? Do you ever feel like your body, your emotions, your feelings are completely out of your control? Hi, I'm Jamie Pfeffer, and if you resonate with any of this, you're really gonna love today's reading. It's about grounding. When you're grounded in your body, you really feel like you're in control, like you're empowered. When you're ungrounded, you can feel totally overwhelmed or completely scattered and all over the place, and you might find that you're forgetful or that you miss certain things or that large chunks of time have gone by and you don't even know where they've gone. If you're interested in finding out some quick and easy ways to ground yourself, you are definitely gonna wanna stick around for this video. Hi again, I'm Jamie Pfeffer, and I'm so excited that you're here with me today. If you're here, it tells me that you are interested in taking more of your power back in your life, and you're interested in your own well-being. Most likely, you are interested in finding out ways or different methods that you can incorporate into your daily life to help you feel more safe, more calm, and more confident. Learning how to ground yourself or learning different ways to ground yourself is one of the easiest and most effective means for doing that. So what exactly is grounding? Grounding is somewhat of a trending topic over the last couple years. What it means to be grounded in terms of in your body is that you are actually feeling like you are in your own body, okay? So you're not either totally disconnected from your body, which would be like a feeling of numbness or dissociation, and you're also not so in your body and also absorbing everybody else's feelings that you're completely overwhelmed and you're in this like state of fight or flight, right? Which could also be like a freeze or like a panic, okay? And so if you are, if you do find yourself in fight or flight or you do find yourself ungrounded, let's say, where you're feeling scattered or you're not remembering things, you're forgetting things, different things like that, you're having a hard time connecting with your emotions, that's an easy way to tell. There are some easy things that you can do to ground yourself. And I also wanna say that I have a really fantastic article about grounding yourself on my blog. So if you are the kind of person that really prefers reading over watching videos, I will have a link in the description box below and you can go to the blog and read about it. It is not a verbatim text, like word for word of this video. It's actually an article that I wrote several years ago, but it, it pertains and there are 10 different ways that you can ground yourself listed in that article. So now that I've explained what it means to be ground, grounded, and in the very simplest sense, it just means to be fully and completely in your own body, okay? So it's, it's when you're feeling calm, when you're feeling secure, when you're feeling connected to yourself and most likely other people, but definitely to yourself, okay? So now we're gonna move into different quick and easy ways that you can ground yourself. And sometimes certain things work better than others. It'll be up to you to try, but I'm excited to hear how how these simple grounding techniques go for you. So we'll first start with grounding with Mother Earth, okay? And this is done by setting an intention and also visualization and a little bit of meditation, okay? And so basically all you wanna do to ground with Mother Earth is close your eyes and then imagine roots coming out of your feet. And you wanna imagine very thick roots, okay? If you're empathic or highly sensitive, I would also recommend you have roots, visualize roots coming out of your tailbone or visualize the entire bottom half of your body as like a tree trunk going down into the earth. And then you can visualize the different roots and branches of that going down. So you want to drive those different roots all the way down through the rocky part of the earth, through all the different segments of the earth that are below us all the way down to the core of the earth. And what I recommend and what I do is I actually visualize wrapping these roots around the core of the earth, which is like a sphere, a ball, three full times, okay? And so you can also imagine after that, 
pulling up fresh energy from Mother Earth through those roots that you have, okay? So you want to release energy that you no longer want and you want to pull up fresh energy, okay? And I just had the symbol of lightning and imagining like copper, okay? So copper is very grounding. And so what it does is if the lightning were to come in, it grounds the lightning so that it's not like all over the place, okay? That essentially is what you're doing when you're grounding yourself. So that is my first recommendation is using a visualization slash meditation to ground with mother earth and if you're the kind of person that has a hard time visualizing on their own i have a fantastic root chakra meditation that walks you through this entire process okay it's under ten dollars and it's usable for life you can use it across multiple devices so that's my first one my second suggestion for grounding or technique for grounding is eating root vegetables okay so we've got a root food so that's foods that grow in the ground so things like tomatoes and if you can get red because the root chakra is what we are grounding and the root chakra is red so if you can get a hold of some raw produce is fantastic like these tomatoes would be an amazing thing to do to ground yourself and really just be mindful while you're eating them okay also i just had a visual of putting a little bit of salt on these so you can cut them if you have tomato slices and just sprinkling a little bit of salt that's actually going to help detox some of that energy that you want to ground that you want to release okay so you can do it with tomatoes but you can also do it with things like watermelon because watermelon also comes from the ground okay fresh watermelon tomatoes carrots are a really good root vegetable cabbage anything like that and bonus points if you can find something that is red so that is my second suggestion or technique for grounding your energy now moving on to number three and this is something that many people love including myself and this is working with grounding crystals first off i have this amazing black obsidian owl the owl i wouldn't say is a real grounded animal but black obsidian is a very grounding crystal okay so black obsidian is a fantastic choice it really also soaks up a lot of negative energy another really great choice is a red jasper and this is a red jasper pyramid you see how deep and like clay like this really looks looks like right you want to go for these deep red colors like this because that is the color of the root chakra and if you're ungrounded your root chakra is not in balance right now speaking of the root chakra what kinds of things does the root chakra have to do with it's important to understand that when you're trying to ground your energy it all is kind of connected okay so when we feel overwhelmed particularly unsafe if our basic safety needs are feeling threatened that is often one of the most popular reasons that we would get ungrounded okay and these often have to do with our home our health and our money okay so any type of threat to our sense of shelter is has the potential to throw our root chakra off balance and to cause us to be ungrounded anything that has to do with not having enough money these are like super basic needs that we all have okay so if you have for whatever reason let's say you lose your job or even just the threat that you could lose your job it could cause your root chakra to kind of go sideways and it can cause you to be ungrounded another thing is father issues that has to do with the root chakra so if you have something going on with your father and your relationship with your father it can cause a an imbalance in your root chakra which can cause you to be ungrounded and the ways that people often deal with being ungrounded are either they disconnect with their feelings they actually dissociate with their feelings so that they're like numb they can't even identify their feeling if they tried okay and that is a defense mechanism most likely that started to happen in childhood the other way that people deal with feeling ungrounded is to get really nervous and to have a lot of anxiety okay? so a lot of rumination in the head 
but also there will be physical changes in the body when we're worried or anxious or feeling super stressed about something. You may not be sleeping well, you could be tossing and turning through the night. You could also be experiencing emotional issues like snapping at people or just like feeling like high strung, feeling like you don't have enough time. It often comes out in a scarcity mindset, okay? And these are really, really deep beliefs often, and the root chakra is super deep. I mean, it's getting your basic needs fulfilled, okay? So it's really important to be very gentle and kind with yourself if you do feel this way, okay? And then start incorporating these grounding techniques because they will help you to move out of that panic or fear or dissociation and help you get back into your body. Real quick before I move on, some other crystals that are really good for grounding are smoky quartz, fantastic for grounding, and black tourmaline is really good for grounding. Anything really that's red, bloodstone is really good for grounding. Hematite is really good for grounding. I happen to have a piece of that right here. This is actually a hematite angel. It's fantastic for grounding, okay? It has iron inclusions in it. Metals are really good for grounding. Copper, I mentioned earlier. So if you're interested in getting yourself any crystals that will help you with grounding, I will put a bunch of links for those below so that you have some resources for yourself. Okay, so moving on, I'm gonna give you a, a fourth way that you can ground yourself. And I alluded to this a little bit earlier, but this is just being in your own body, okay? And so one of the easiest and most portable things that you can do is actually to do some deep breathing. You don't have to pay any money to breathe. We obviously are all breathing all the time, right? And so you can pretty much do this anywhere. You can do it on a plane, you can do it in a car, even just taking like a deep cleansing breath, like one deep cleansing breath and counting to four and then releasing, okay? If you wanted to take it even further, you can do what's called box breathing. And so box breathing is actually used by Navy SEALs when they are out in the field doing these amazingly heroic things that they're doing, right? Jumping out of planes and saving people from bad guys and all this kind of stuff when they're really, really feeling highly stressed and definitely in fight or flight mode, okay? And the cool thing about this is like, if, this, if the Navy SEALs are using this, we can all use this, okay? And box breathing is very, very simple. It just involves breathing in and out to the count of four, and you do it four times, okay? So it's like a box. It's also really easy to remember. So it's like you would breathe in for a count of four, you would breathe out for a count of four, you would breathe in for a count of four, and then you would breathe out for a count of four, okay? So it ends up looking like a box, okay? So let's give that one a shot right now real quick, all right? Close your eyes with me and we will try it together. Ready? Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. That is a little bit of a more advanced breathing technique, but you can certainly start practicing it now. I would suggest just doing it once to begin with and see how you feel after, and then maybe after a week or so, start adding another set of it. So you're actually doing eight, okay? That is a really awesome thing that you can do for yourself. And like I said, you can pretty much do it anywhere to help yourself feel safe. And now the last technique that I'm going to share with you, and like I said earlier, I do have that article on my blog. I have 10 grounding ideas, so you can go check that out if you're looking for more. But the last idea that I'm going to share with you is just using your one of your five senses, okay? Using your five senses works because it gets you out of your mind, okay? If you're feeling like super anxious and you're in your head, it gets you out of your mind or it pulls you down from the cloud if you are like spaced out, okay? So it's using one of your five senses and I really find that smell and touch are the ones to really help you move very quickly from being in your mind or being scattered up here back into your body, okay? So smell or touch. In terms of smell, this is where essential oils really come into play, but you can use you know, just go into your kitchen. I'm sure that you have some good stuff there. Or if you're on the road, if you're a woman and you carry a purse, chances are good that you have some kind of 
happy smelling something in there. There are even these little things called Scentsy. I have like a little Scentsy buddy and it's, it's like a laughing emoji that my kids gave me, but it smells like tangerine and it holds its scent for a really long time, okay? Lemon oil or lemongrass or lavender are really good for this type of thing or anything like orange or tangerine. If you're at home and you've got an orange around, I would suggest just cutting right into that orange and smelling it. And if you wanna take that even a step further, you can imagine that you are explaining to somebody what an orange is, someone that's never had an orange before, okay? And kind of go through your different senses of using or experiencing that orange. You can also take a knife and cut into a lemon. That's really great. If you decided that you wanted to use the sense of touch, I mean, that's like super easy because you always have your body with you and that one's free too, okay? So it may just involve some kind of tapping. Start tapping your hands on the tops of your thighs, just like this, and then doing some breathing. You can also do like tensing up your muscles for like a count of 10 and then releasing for a count of five. And then tense up your muscles for a count of 10, and then release for a count of five. Another really good one to do with a sense of touch is just to take your own hands right here and put them on the back of your neck and give yourself, or the back of your, your neck and your shoulders, and just give yourself a little bit of a massage there, okay? I know that my dentist, who's amazing, hi, Dr. Estrada, she always tells me like whenever I have to get a shot at the dentist and I'm like all up in my head worried about it, she always helps me ground by saying, okay, focus on your toes, wiggle your toes. So that's another thing you can do. Just taking your awareness and putting it on a certain point in your body works. And the reason that it works is because if we were to really go and slow down the brain, like super duper slow motion, even though a lot of us think that we are multitasking, we really aren't multitasking. We're, we're taking our attention and we're going from one thing back to the other, to the other, to the other, okay? So if you're focused on one thing, like your feet and wiggling your toes and you're feeling those sensations in your body, you can't actually be in your head thinking about the thing that you're worried about, okay? So that's it for this little mini lesson on grounding. I hope that you enjoyed it and I am really excited and would love to hear from you. Do you ever find that you're ungrounded and which of these techniques do you think would be most helpful for you? Go down below and leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. And also, if you are interested in receiving more quick tips or intuitive guidance, please make sure that you take a moment and go down below and click on the red subscribe button and the wiggly bell. That way you are sure to always receive my videos as soon as I post them. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.